Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Place, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, uh, what, it really wasn't a good episode. I spent at least half of it dying after getting... After um, infiltrating a uh, base of Boku... Yeah, Bokoblins and Moblins. And then... Um, Let's see, and then on our way toward one of the shrines that was nearby. Actually, no, first off, we got attacked by some lady who planted a whole bunch of flowers over by a shrine, and she attacked us, just wasted our time. And then on our way to another shrine, after dealing with a base of bokoblins and moblins, I died from a Yiga clan member who kept one-shotting me and uh, a guardian nearby. <clears throat> but after all of that, I managed to find my way around, and I actually found a Korok, or the Korok guide, the one with the maracas, and um, a new stable. So we can call our horses at that stable now, because also the shrine was there. And then we made it to Akala, the Akala Citadel Tower, which is right up there. Or just Akala Tower for short. Where that was even just as much of a pain to climb because it's filled with black Ganon goo. <laughs> but we managed to make it. And in this episode, we are going to do at least two towers. Oh, and that skip, it just rained. Alright. Or not two towers, we're going to do two shrines. There's two right next to the tower, and this is the first one. The other one is actually closer... But I didn't feel like uh, flying over there because, just like in the last part, we encountered drones. <coughs> A minor test of strength, huh? Well, let me get my club out because I don't care about this. Yeah, we encountered uh, guardian drones, which were just awkward, really. Good thing this is a test of strength because these are pretty easy. Just going up against the uh, little guardian. And... Okay. Oh! Jesus. Alright. Oh. Just in case. Okay, I need to sort that out, and I want to sort this out. Um, man, he does quite a bit of damage, I'll give him that much. Hmm, well. Alright. Come on, you. We also learned how to deflect, uh... Beams of uh, energy. Oh, what? Oh, he's doing this. Oh, crap. That didn't work out very well. Oh, I'm out of uh, bows. Oops. Holy! Okay, a little too soon on that one. A little too soon on that one. There we go. We're still working on that, but nothing we can't handle, right? Okay, Ice Rod doesn't work on you. Where are you up to? Oh. Oh man, that was actually pretty close. He probably would have shot a real uh, guardian beam if I didn't hit him. I'm gonna take his ancient battle axe and three screws. <coughs> so we really don't have any more bows, right? 
We don't! Oh my gosh! What happened? Oh, that's right. Because we actually took down a uh, drone in the last part. And he took all my bows. Giant ancient core. A giant energy crystal made of using lost ancient technology. Cores this large are an extremely rare find. A researcher would probably know how to use this. Oh, well, that's actually our main goal here. Because after we do these shrines, we're gonna follow up on Pura's side quest and go talk to uh, her assistant or friend Robbie and get um hopefully some ancient techno babble whatever. Because Beetle got um, ancient arrows from Robbie, or at least something like that. And we already know how ancient arrows are. They're like the equivalent of light arrows in this game, I think. It's enough to kill a guardian in one shot, I can tell you that much. So why not? One thing I'm wondering is that if the... Uh, if the Guardians are, like, under the possession of Calamity Ganon's influence, then what's up with the Guardians and the Shrines? Are they also part of it, or what? Okay, we got one of these. I'm assuming you want an apple. Knew it. And you don't really want these, so I'll take all of them. And let's go ahead and head back to the tower. I swear, the climbing this thing was just really a big pain. I mean, look at all that. That's like the equivalent of lava, more or less. <coughs> Only you can't get a heat resistance or you know, any resistance on that. Death Mountain's over yonder. And this was the other shrine I was talking about. Careful to... Uh, is that another shrine? Alright, I guess we have three shrines. Alright. That's fine. I'll take three shrines. I'll just only leave one more. It's a Kasho shrine. I should probably be hunting for more enemies so I can get more weapons. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Sakasha Apparatus. Okay, oh, it's one of these tilting puzzles. There we go. <clears throat> All right, what's this now? Hmm. All right, they just keep rotating. But I can also trick them, I think. Yeah, I can actually stop them. I 
How do I get that chest? And I have no bows either, so... Man, all these cars out here. Oh, hello there. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Let's see if there's like another chest or something around here. chess please no there isn't well let's go ahead and get that one real quick how I don't know yep. see can I duck under this Sucks is the loading on this thing. Oh, okay, I got you. I wonder. Oh, wow. All right, fine. Come on, little bomb. Go on, little bomb. Oh, man. Oh, it made it. Oh, overshot it. Overshot it. I overshot that one. Did though. Yep. Ah. All right, and let's try this again. Glass cut that little uh, wall so I can hug it instead of falling to my doom. A silver scale spear. The most skilled Zora fighters wield this spear. It's beautiful fail or fail fish tail. Design bellies its impressive strength. Or belies, I'm sorry. The spearhead can pierce even the toughest scales. Alright. Well, let's head out of here and then let's do another one. Mucus. I say we're doing good so far. <laughs> Two shrines in under four in under fifteen minutes. It's better than last episode, but I digress. Kinda. 
Anyhow, the rain's gone. Let's go back up to that tower. Use fire arrows to burn dry grass and defeat multiple enemies at the same time. So what, does fire conduct dry grass or something? I should be using fire arrows a bit more. Hell, I've been using shock arrows the most. But that was only because of the, the last dungeon. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, that was the one I saw, right? Hell, I'm tempted to head over to that tower. I might even do that. After this, though. Eh, maybe not. It's too far away. For right now, anyways. Ah, oh, such a beautiful, beautiful world. Oh, there's a... Ploymus Mountain. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's what it's called. I'm thinking I should go land first because I'm about to run out of stamina. A call a span. I can live it. Just barely. Looks like we got some black moblins. So, yep. Got some black moblins there. Oh, I don't even have the regular bacoblins there. Better time than any. Anyways. Now that I got my stamina back up, let's continue. Is that, is that a stable? Again? Man, these stables are everywhere. <laughs> Moa Keep Shrine. another stable at our uh, at our beck and call as well metal makes a path all right uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna need magnesis I see a metal ball right there I'm probably gonna need it for later. I'm gonna grab stasis. That's gonna be a lot of nope right there. Oh, okay, that was a little too close. I don't know what I'm gonna need you for. Ooh, a knight broadsword. Nice. Holy crap, that's a fastball. All right. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm just gonna need that to... No, no you don't. Come with me. 
Ha! They moved these out of the way. Alright. Just gonna push you guys over. Ah. And let's toss you out. That's it. Your resourcefulness, yada yada yada. So that's three spirit orbs now. <laughs> and I should go blow my nose. And eh, maybe later. I guess next we'll go explore that stable real quick and uh, see if there's any side quests or shrine quests that uh, people can tell us about. And I should probably cook. Oh sweet, a sledgehammer. What a lovely blue horse. Hey, the accordion guy. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. How you kind of look at this picture too? It's so beautiful. I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Ozanda, the owner of the stables, or so I hear. That volcano in the background is so majestic, and the stable is subtle in the scenery. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction. The composition is just so impressive. That's a shrine quest. Let's see. Hello, Cass. I don't know if he's the same one, but I'm pretty sure it is. All right, so at least we know that this is here. Guess we can go ahead and uh, cook a little while we're here. I Man, I got so much meat, I don't know what to do with it all. Just cook all this meat. <coughs> Salt grilled prime meat. Not bad, I guess. All right. Salt grill prime meat again. All right, let's get uh, two bananas. And some raw meat, some salt, and a little bit of that nut. And just regular salt grilled meat. I don't think I should be mixing the nut in with the salt. I probably messed up again, but whatever. Oh, fried egg and rice. Nice. The soft egg yolk pairs well with this fresh rice in a simple dish. All right. Let's see what else you got. And this Duran. Or Durian, whatever. All right, hearty simmered fruit. I guess that's because there's so much fruit. And let's make one more full recovery, I guess. Uh, and, um, hmm. Oh. 
Hardy prime meat and seafood fry. Okay. Alright. Getting some shrooms. Let's get this uh, hardy truffle. <coughs> and some meat. I think this will just make a skewer. Another full recovery, but with a uh, lot. Yeah, I see a skewer. But with just only one extra there. Let's see. Increase the number of hearts. Heart it restores. Hmm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and we get meaty rice balls. Okay, I'd never heard of this. The sweet and spicy meat stuffed into these rice balls will keep you full of full for some time. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. How about this? Meat and rice bowl. All right. Two, three, and then uh, let's put in a Hyrule bass and yeah, some meat. This should up our defense quite a bit. Yep. <clears throat> Tough meat and seafood fry. All right. Um, I actually want to add one of these hearty radishes. And um, do I have anything else? Oh, wait. Hold up a sec. <clears throat> Stupid lamp. Speed, electric. Oh, I'm gonna add a silent princess to this one. I would add salt, but I'm gonna pass on that. Fried wild greens. A basic vegetable dish made of sauteing fresh wild plants. I uh, blame the silent princess for doing that. Oh well, I'll save my last one. Or it could have been the hearty radish too. Add two of these. Let's add two mighty bananas and let's add, oh I don't have any more Hyrule bass. Let's add some meat. Because everything works well with meat. Steamed meat. Oh, 15. Okay. Alright, let's add three mighty bananas. And a meat and a salt. And mighty, yeah, mighty salt grilled meat. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Increase your strength. All right. Uh, how about that? Wait. Okay, what's the difference between strength and attack power? I don't want to cook that. Actually, I actually want to cook these and uh, these mighty carps. And this thing. Let's see how this works. Mighty fish skewer. Definitely gives me a lot of attack, I know that much. Uh, let's cook like one more thing. Mm, 
cold resistant, heat resistant. Hmm. I got one more meat right here. Resistance to cold. Oh, I got some crabs too. Replenishes your stamina. Let's add some of those. Let's see, that's stealth, that's a hardy bass. That's heat resistance, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll add a little salt to that and Hmm. I don't think this is going to work too well, but let's try it. Energizing salt grilled meat. Oh, okay, it did work. Alright, well, I think that's it. That should give me enough food for a while. Uh, is there anything else over here? I don't think so, because... What? Oh, that's just an odd lantern placement. Um, any items? There's a sun shroom. There's a few of them. Let's get off there. What's this? Oh, a rusty shield. I don't need that, though. There's a reason why it's left there to begin with. Let's see, some apples, hyaline shroom, arrows, and apples. What the? A double axe. This double sided axe was designed with fighting in mind. It's a bit unwieldy, so it requires the well practiced technique to use effectively. Or efficiently. Whatever. Alright. Some more arrows and apples. Some more apples. Just raiding their thing. Got some weird looking horses and I think that's all. So let's go ahead and continue on our destination. Hey, I did three shrines. I got plenty of time to cook and stuff. So, you know, I'm gonna do it. I'll keep that fire arrow tip in mind, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, okay, you can actually use shade to keep cooling uh, on hotter days. That's nice to note. Alright, but with all that, let's uh, head over yonder to this area where Robbie's research is. I don't think these guys can see above them, so that helps. All these guys cost me my bows. And there's another shrine. I don't mind. Because I'll do it. Oh, what's that over there? That can't be another shrine too, can it? It might be. I don't think so. It's looks like it's some campfires or something. Oh well. Hmm. What else is around? I'm gonna eat something to replenish my stamina. Cause I wanna keep flying. Oh! Too soon. Or too late. I should have made an elixir for a stamina boost. Yeah, I fell a little, but that's fine. I can still make it. Hmm. What? Is that a shrine? That has to be a shrine. 
Oh, great, and there's more drones out here. I can eat this. And what is with these drones? I want to at least make it to that shrine. Oh, almost out again. Why not? I think that's going to be the last one I eat because I don't want to keep wasting all my stamina food. And here comes the rain. Yeah, that's a shrine. What is that doing all the way up there? Oh, well. How close am I? I... It's almost like I didn't really make much progress at all. Oh, well. Okay, there's some what look to be villagers. Is that another stable? Because that is just precious. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up here. And do a fourth try, why don't we? See, at least this episode of making some progress. At least I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah, another stable. Go figure. What was that? Uh, that's the Yiga Clan uh, theme. Yep. Aw, oh, you again. I ain't gonna bother with you. Fine, I'll bother with you. <coughs> Come on, you. Alright, let's go. Come on. Ah, oh, I tried to jump. Really? And Come on, you. There we go. Stupid thing. Just gonna freeze you. And then... There we go! Oh, I beat him. I wanted his uh, thing, though. Wait, really? I guess I'll take you on. Oh, one thing I forgot to change. Oh, that was a little close. Ooh, thanks, Wind Cleaver. This sword is favored by high-ranking members of the Yiga. When wielded by a proficient fighter, its unique shape cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. And he also drops some mighty bananas. Let's see, what other weapons do I have? Man, that thing is strong. Um, let's go ahead and use the silver scale spear. Because I want your soldier bow. Get your arms, some fangs, and okay. Oh, there's something else over here too. An arrow and hyrule herb. Oh, hopefully now I can just go ahead and do this shrine. Oh, there's a little dog there. Akala Ancient Tech Lab and Lake Akala. Okay. East Akala Stable and Kats Katosa Og Shrine. Alright, four shrines. That's the equivalent of one heart container and or one stamina vessel. Hot springs. These lush thermal baths are found throughout the world. You can relax in them for a while to replenish your hearts. Neat. Too bad you can't get any empty balls in this game, you just automatically come with them. 
Alright, I know I can't just jump there. Be too easy. So, I'm guessing another one of these, uh, gyro control puzzles. Wait, am I playing Pong? Oh no, I'm playing golf. Made it. Come on, get in there. I mean, was that it? Ah, oh, damn it. But really, was that it? Cause that's kind of a rip off. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there's something on the back too. Oh, I gotta wait now. See, I knew that there would one day be something behind there. I can just complete it now, or I can get some extra goodies. Well, you know me, I like getting extra stuff. There's a chest over there, and that's it. Oh, I got a trick shot this one. And I mess up. Too much power in there. Huh. Well. Huh. I think I got it that time. Just barely. Yes, I did. Sweet. <laughs> well, that was neat, but it was really, really easy, too. A great frost blade and has critical hit properties. This magic infused great sword was forged by smelting ore found in the Hebra Mountains permafrost. Attack with when the blade glows blue to expel freezing air. That's a little bit like the electric sword. How when it glows it um emits electricity. Which was actually really useful. Too bad I wasted in a boss fight where the boss was good against electricity. Wait, did it break when I finally beat him? I know I used it a lot on him, but those were all my failed attempts. And then on my successful one, I don't remember if I killed him, if I broke the sword on him or not. I'm pretty sure I did. Cause that last bit was just ridiculous. Anyways, now that that's all through, I can actually get another heart container and that's probably what I'm gonna do. Just to keep upping up my uh, defenses more or less. But let's go over here now. No issues to report. Good morning. I've been on patrol duty lately. My name is Hawes. Jeez. It's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has. Yes. Recently, I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Clinton? No, I don't. I see. Well, if you see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if this Clinton character... Oh, yeah. yeah. Really, if you see this Clinton character, 
Please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. A shady customer. That sounds like it would be uh, interesting. I might do that. He might be another merchant, just based on the customer thing. Hey, Beetle. Hey. Oh, I knew I'd see you again. I think that technically makes you my stalker. <laughs> but seriously, I'm going to have to ask you to stop following me around. Who am I kidding? I love the attention. <laughs> what are you looking for? Or are you selling? <laughs> Man, you're just crazy. Give me your arrows. <laughs> a swift carrot. A sm a smother wing butterfly? This rare butterfly lives in volcanic regions. I bet I can find them on my own. <laughs> Increases movement speed and a hearty radish. I'll just take all your arrows. Wow! Wow! Oh, oh sorry. Uh, no, I'm good. You will. Don't worry. You always do. A sacred article. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who's traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere. But at the end of the day, I'm, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? This area. Mm -hmm. Let's see. If you go west of here, you'll... There's a... Yeah. If you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place called the Spring of Power. Offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what the legend mm -hmm. says. Maybe it was part of the ritual... Of a ritual the Princess of Hyrule Castle used to perform. And farther areas. There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by though. And goodbye. <laughs> See ya. The spring of power. Oh, okay, it's a shrine. I should have figured. All right. Yeah, you're just sighing. Hmm. And okay, don't drop frames on me right now. Oh, this broken down wagon had amber. That's neat. Let's see, what else is around here? Oh. Huh, cool. There's a little dog. There's you. Hello, Goron. I'm just checking if they have any side quests on them. Doesn't look like it. And I should probably get one of my horses. Uh, board a horse. Yeah, board another butt. Uh, I want to take one of my horses. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to take a uh, Cheeto. Since I don't think I'm gonna be able to fly anywhere anytime soon. Horses that have lost stamina can run at top speeds for a long time. However, they can't turn well when they, yeah, I know. I got it. Come on, Cheeto. I don't know why I named him Cheeto. I think it's because I was eating Cheetos when I found him. Hmm. I guess I can just keep following. Yep, I can just keep following this path. It's fine. So, holy crap. Go, 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 go. There's no time to be defiant, Cheeto.
All right. Cheeto, I will swear. We almost died because of you. And now I'm gonna take care of this business. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, I do. I was gonna say, wait a minute, I don't have a bow. Wait, yes, I do. Just gonna kill you now. Nope. Oh, what are you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. I already took down plenty of your kind, and they have legs. You have nothing. It'd be really cool if you had a... a core, though. Ah. <sighs> Come on. Hey. Over here. Now you give me crap like that again, and I will disown you. I don't care if you are purple. Because you almost got us killed right there. Oh yeah, I already put that way. Go ahead and search these. Or not. What the hell? Is that a giant hedge maze? That's a giant hedge maze. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> but there's a shrine in there. I might even hit it. <clears throat> now if only there was a way to warp over here, but... Then again, it's not too far from the stable. Oh wait, it's got a fast travel point right here. So I just need another furnace. <laughs> wait, are those? They're blue wolves, and they're after a fox. Huh, okay. Hello. You look familiar. It, it's an. It's. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Hmm. Hmm. Got some weird googly eyes there. Are you the one called Link? Yes, I am, Dr. Wily. Hmm. Hmm. That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, you would be something important. I need, I need to tell you. How can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Yes, if you can show me that... Show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago. That should prove you are truly Link. How the hell am I supposed to prove that? Mm. Show me your... Show me the wound your body suffered. Mm. Mm, you're pretty suspicious. If you are an acquaintance of Robbie, you'll have to prove it to him. How am I supposed to prove that a hundred years ago I had all these wounds? I don't think my memories will account for that. Well, I mean, they might and they might not. I mean, unless my Sheikah Slate records these things and I can just watch it on playback. Ah. More or less, you're telling me I came over here for nothing. Damn garbage hobo. Wrong button. Come on. Let me 
gonna go ahead and grab this prime meat. Oh, a tree branch. I don't need no tree branch. What in the hell is that? Hmm. An ancient screw. This is like a whole bunch of guardians all piled up together. I wonder if there's anything else I can search in here. I don't think there is. Wait, what's that? Oh, a warm darner. Oh, that was a waste of time. I don't know how I'm supposed to prove it again unless my Sheikah Slate shows that I can uh, show him memories. Because if I can't, then I don't know how I'm supposed to prove it. Hmm. Oh, there's the furnace. Now I need to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to go from here and bring it all the way up here. Oh wait, unless that's a furnace too. Why are there two of them? No, wait, no, that's just a shrine. Oh, and that's the stable. Okay, so it's not really that far. Oh, there's like a, another moblin hut over there. Hmm. I'm a little interested in the skull area. I'm actually going to head over there. So, you stay right here. I'm off because you can't listen and I'm mad at you now. Okay, that's a wolf. Alright. Wonder if I can make it to that other shrine and make a total of five shrines today. And there are enemies galore here. I don't really feel like fighting. Alright, so at least this place has a furnace. I wonder if I bring the furnace stuff over, he'll just forget about it. Kinda doubt it. Don't know. Not gonna test that theory. Thank you. Alright, yeah, I think I can hit this, uh, just this one and then I'll be good. Oh! That didn't scare me. This thing did. A blue maned Lionel. And it sees me, too. Does this thing have shock arrows too? It does. And I'm dead. That was bull. Oh man, it might have also been uh, the spear I had to conducting to do more damage. But I am not here to fight that thing. I'm here to go over there. And there's actually another hole. So I'm assuming a Korok would probably be there too. I want to at least take a picture of it. Did it really see me? It saw me from this far away. That thing has some impressive sight. But I best avoid it until I'm more prepared. I mean, the red one barely, uh... I barely survived the red one. I'm assuming the blue ones are even stronger. That's usually how Zelda terminology works, in my opinion. They have red enemies, then blue enemies, and in this game, they have black enemies. To go even stronger. And I'm pretty sure there's others in um, other games, but like other black variant enemies, but I don't know. Is that another lizard or a rat? 
I only came over here because of these oddly, uh, oddly grown, what? The hell? Oh, one, two, three, I'm guessing a Korok is here. Three, four, five. Yep. Pretty much, if anything stands out weird to you, just check on it. Just like that hole that was nearby. I don't know if I passed it or if it's like right up here. There we go. Get some meat from that. Or not. Damn. Got you right in the ass now. Alright. Man, that is some... That's some lovely view right there. And I'm over... Oh, I'm actually close to that skull lake, too. Hmm. There's some lovely flowers here. There's a fox. Oh, and there's some guardians over here. Are they active, though? I'm only asking because they're upright. And it would be something if they were active. Two guardians here, and not much else. Another bird. Need a good vantage point. I'm pretty sure that last hit always does more damage. Can I freeze these guys? I don't think so. actually have quite a bit of uh, weaponry. Alright, that's a two-handed weapon. Let's go with the broadsword since I've already used it. But then again, no, let's go just go with the axe. There's some ancient gear. Almost there. I'm just kind of scavenging about and uh, getting a good place to to enter. Another ancient gear, and let's see. I'm actually really close to that skull lake, unless it's down there. kind of stands out. I'm guessing maybe another Korok. That's what I'm guessing. And a smaller rock. And a Korok. Just what I thought. Well, at least it's, uh, a decent idea of how to find these things. At this point, I'm finding it, anyways. What's over there? Some blue bokoblins. And... Alright. Now I think that is actually the skull lake. Pretty deep, really. What's over there? I can't see very well. Oh, let's head over. Actually, I think this is Skull Lake. Yeah, this is. This is the Skull Lake. Okay, so cool. 
I managed to hit the place I wanted to hit. I just need to uh, get this over here. Zunakai Shrine. We'll do this and then we'll call it an episode. I mean, five shrines. What more could you want? Charge attacking, right? Your charge attack while holding. Yeah, I already figured that. Pools of malice. That must be the the brown poo pits. And I'm guessing I'm gonna need cryonis for this. Right? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Zuna Kai. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. What? By just stepping in here, I've proven my worth. So you're just giving this to me. Ooh, a flame blade! This magical sword was forged in, a lo in the lava of Death Mountain. It leaves white hot flames in its wake when the blade glows red. Holy crap, okay. But you're just giving me this trial. Really? Just getting here, I automatically get this. Really? No strings attached. Can't tell if I should feel joyful or disappointed due to not being able to find out a hundred, over a hundred different puzzles for me to solve. I mean, it wasn't a puzzle just getting here, but damn, this is pretty much the easiest trial and you gave me a really cool weapon. Now all I need is the electric sword again. You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of the goddess, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Alright, so I just had to come in here and just get my stuff. May the goddess smile upon you. You shouldn't have even made this shrine if that's the case. I mean, whatever. I'm fine with uh, taking it. But I'm not 100% satisfied. Oh well, it helps make me uh, cut the episode out easier now. So if you want to find the easiest shrine in the game, look no further than this one. So, next time on Purple Plays, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, probably going to be doing more exploring. Is that another shrine? What the hell is that? I can't see it, but we'll probably tackle whatever's down there in the next part. I'll see you guys next time.